This has seen temperatures in the mid 90s with high humidity the last several days. That's resulted in excessive heat warnings. Now we've told you how to protect yourself from the heat, but KTRE's Avery Gorman spoke to a veterinarian about how to keep your pets safe as well. Dr. Lindsay Seiler is the owner and main veterinarian at Angelina Animal Hospital and says it's important to limit your pet's time outside during this extreme heat. Especially if the animal is an indoor outdoor type dog or like Winston here who is a brachiocephalic type dog, our bulldogs that can't um, get that air in and out um, as well as other types of dogs with the longer snouts. But we want to limit their time outside. If they are an outside animal um, and, and are not allowed in the house, then you need to su supply a source of shade, fans. Mindy Jones has a dog of her own named Dolly and a foster dog named Honey. She has changed and adjusted their playtime outside due to the heat. We just kind of go in and out. Um, whenever I'm not at the house, they're inside in the AC. And uh, whenever I'm home, like as long as I can stand it, then they'll be out there with me. Siler says having your pets outside for too long could have major consequences. Symptoms of a heat stroke in dogs and cats can include heavy panting, drooling, bright red tongue and gums, vomiting and diarrhea, and much more. Siler says if your pet is overheated, it's important to check their temperature to see if they are over 105.5 degrees. If they are, you should immediately take action to cool your pet down. But the way you I need to start trying to cool them down in the sense of a heat stroke, you don't want to just douse them in an ice bath or anything like that. That is very dangerous and can actually send them into shock quicker. But you do need to try to get them cooled down. You could certainly put like a a wet cloth over them to start cooling that body heat, get the air on, get the air moving. Avery Gorman, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Siler also warns owners to make sure the pavement isn't too hot for your pet. If you touch it with your hand and it burns you, it is too hot for your pet's paws as well.